time for a haul video. Quite a big one, too. Um, <laughs> so I've been acquiring things from, you know, my usual sources, the discount racks, as usual, which is mostly what I use these videos for. And uh, there's a lot to get to. We have, uh, you know, tapes. We've got a DVD set that I got. We'll talk about that in a minute. A couple other things. Lots of action figures. In fact, I think this is the first time we have more action figures then we have VHS tapes, because I show off the VHS tapes, I find. But this time, <laughs> we've got a lot. It's been accumulating, and I need to start putting it away. So, um, let's start off, though, with some old business. So, I'm going to show off these things real quick. So, I uh, recently, well, a while ago, actually, by the time this goes up, I met Pixel Dan <laughs> from YouTube. Uh, yeah, he was at a little comic shop down in Miami um, a couple weeks ago, and uh, I went down there and I met him, and uh, I'll put up a picture if I could get it, and I'm not lazy, and I, I should put it up, I shouldn't be lazy about this, this is important. Uh, yeah, I met Pixel Dan, uh, he signed my Masters of the Universe book, and I bought a pin off of him. Look at that pin, very nice. I never, I didn't notice how shiny it was, it's got the little sparklies on it, it's very nice. Um, he was also selling these too, little Orco pins, I don't know how he has these Orco pins, but, uh, hey, I'm not going to complain. And I was gifted this absolutely amazing vintage Castle Grayskull pencil sharpener. Are you kidding me? Look at how detailed this little thing is. I absolutely adore it. So, uh, we have some new pins for the pin board. Let me, uh, put this one right here in the middle. Uh, I don't think it can be seen on camera, actually. But, uh, yeah, we'll put that right uh, up there. Okay, yeah, there it is. And uh, I guess we'll take Orko and we'll put him next to Skeletor here if he stops fooling around. The uh, the pin board is getting kind of crowded. Um, might have to either reorganize it or maybe get rid of some pins that are not really relevant anymore. And this one's shiny on the camera. Uh, if anybody has any pins on here they don't like and they want gone uh let me know <laughs> i'll get rid of them or maybe we can find something better to put these on the suggestions in the comments please all right so let us begin we have a lot to get through like a lot you don't even know you're just gonna see things flying in and going just going for this video so let's start with the uh tapes that i have i have a little stack of tapes here uh, these are the ones that I found at the swap shop trip uh, not too long ago. Um, the one that I had to unfortunately abandon because I was getting heat stroke. And, uh, well, I'm probably not going to be going back for some time because the heat came in very quickly here in South Florida. So uh, no swap shop for a minute. Uh, I've really been meaning to ask what's been going on with the swap shop, but that's irrelevant right now. Anyway, we have uh, Care Bears uh, Thanksgiving surprise. Weird that they chose pink for Thanksgiving. I thought that when I saw this, I thought it was like a Valentine's. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been apparently collecting Care Bears tapes now. I have two others in this set. Now I have another one. And uh, this one, which is uh, Snowden. And it's sealed, actually. Uh, some kind of Christmas special. I don't know much about it. Apparently, this was like a Target exclusive thing. Uh, I don't know much else beyond that, but uh, hey, I'm always on the lookout for weird Christmas specials for potential reviews on the main channel, even though I haven't done that in a while. Really need to get on that. Uh, all right, so moving on temporarily from cartoons, I have some live action stuff. I got Speed because uh, I needed to... <laughs> the place I bought these from was doing like two for a dollar and I needed to find a second one, but uh, Speed with Keanu Reeves. I like this movie. I remember watching it. It was very exciting. Uh, unfortunate Speed 2 was not as good. But um, I also got this, hilariously. Uh, Highlander bloopers. <laughs> this is a very strange one. Um, I didn't... Uh, well, I should have realized it at the time. But uh, this is for the TV show, not the movies. Any of the movies. Uh, most of the movies are funny on their own right. They don't need to have bloopers. But uh, yeah... Um, yeah, I thought that was just kind of interesting, <laughs> kind of a thing. Might be fun to watch. I've never watched any of the Highlander TV shows. <clears throat> I think it was like, what, two of them? Yeah, I never got around to it. I heard they were good. <clears throat> Better than some of the sequels, anyway. 
Uh, moving on real quick, we have Tailspin. So if you were looking on my Instagram of me posting my VHS collection, um, I mentioned that I have the Tailspin tapes, but I only had the odd-numbered ones. Now, I have the even-numbered ones, and this is the whole set now. Uh, the odd-numbered ones are on the shelf. I didn't bother getting them. I'm kind of um, cramped right now because there's so much stuff that I have to show off. <laughs> there is there is a leaning tower to my right, and I'm being very careful not to knock it over. Uh, you'll see, again, uh, as, as I show off all these. But, uh, yeah, there's uh, Volume 2. There's uh, Volume 4, Volume 6. And Volume 8, which I believe was the hardest one to find. But uh, I have the full set now. I did that because it's one of my favorite shows. And you know what? It's going to be relevant again in this video. So stay tuned for that. So that's it for the tapes. Uh, I do have one DVD set that I found. This was kind of an interesting find. Teddy Ruxpin, the animated series. Uh, volume 1, I believe. Um... Yeah, Teddy Ruxpin, for those of you who don't know, had an animated series, and apparently it was kind of kind of fun. They also had a uh, live-action uh, TV special with, like, puppets and stuff, and was actually really well done as well. Uh, this is Volume 1. I believe the other volumes are actually kind of rare, but uh, this is kind of neat that I found this one, and it's doing that thing where they, they cheap out and they put the discs in little sleeves instead of... A spool where they're nice and safe. Look, they're fall. Look, they're falling out already. Oh my god! Fix these so that they they're upright and they don't fall out. I'm very protective of my discs. They're very important for my work. And now you can review it. Not now. I'm busy. All right. So that's it for the movies and tapes and DVDs and stuff. So um, let's uh, get through some of the stuff that I bought. The the action figures. Oh God, there's so many. I don't, I don't even know where to start. Uh, well, actually, we're going to start here. So you remember a couple of uh, videos back, I mentioned uh, that I confessed that Rainbow Bright was a girl's show that I liked growing up. And I found these at a five below. They're, um, they're uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, the, the loyal subjects, that's what they're called. They're loyal subjects figures. Um, they had uh, strawberry shortcake ones too, but I don't care about that. Uh, so I got these two at the time, and so I decided, you know what? I'm just going to get the full set, because <laughs> they had them. <laughs> so there's Rainbow Bright, there's um, there's uh, Starlight, and then all the, the color... Well, not all the color kids, but there's, uh, there's Twink. I actually remember having a plush of one of these guys. I think it was the orange one or something. I don't know. It was, it, definitely one of them, but I don't know which one it was. Um... So wish I still had it. It was a vintage. It was nice. Then there's a red butler. And then there's tickled pink. And then Stormy, who I think was like an antagonist or something. Um, there are chase ones too, but they didn't have any of those, unfortunately. The collection is incomplete. Ah! But yeah, I decided to <laughs> I might as well just double down on this. Um, probably going to maybe put these on the shelf in the... Uh, in the cartoon clip show set. Uh, I've been meaning to uh, clean off the shelf. Oh, shoot. I've been meaning to clean that shelf off because there's so much on there. Um, yeah, because I, I actually bought other things to uh, potentially use. As I like finding just little figures that I could potentially just, you know, throw on the shelf just for set decoration. Uh, it's kind of crowded, though. I might have to make some decisions and move things around but uh anyway let's move on to some other stuff i found at five below speaking of things embarrassing that i uh really like they had these uh care bears bobbleheads of grumpy bear who was the best care bear yeah so potentially put this on the shelf too so uh we'll just yeah it's a care bear bobblehead what do you want and then i saw this one invader zim they had a bunch of little um like mcdonald's uh not mcdonald what, what the hell's wrong with my brain nickelodeon wow i'm i'm filming this very late at night and i i'm my brain is is trying to cycle through everything so we got to get through this but yeah they had a bunch of little nickelodeon figures and this is the only one that really stood out to me so uh i got invader zim he'll probably show up on the shelf at some point uh, and next from five, well, actually, uh, let me show this off too from five below. Uh, so five below is a good place to go for like mystery toys. 
And um, they had one of these from, if you remember from my uh, trips to round one, I really like this guy. They had little blind bags of the, uh, the characters and some kid actually, I guess, opened it up and looked it inside to see what it, what it was. And it just happened to be the one that I liked. It's uh, Chimmy, his name is. And uh, there's Kookie the rabbit, the one that gave me trouble last time. I'm putting my eye on you. Look at him, smug. But yeah, I kind of like him. So I was like, you know what? I'm here and it's there. I uh, I got it. I put it on my bag next time I, uh, I uh, maybe go out to the uh, arcade. And then everyone will see how cool I am. I did look into this line of characters too. Apparently they're like, they were like, made by celebrities or something. It's like a, co a collaborative thing. Um, but yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's my little dog friend that I like. Now I can get rid of that giant plush that's on my couch. <laughs> the plushes are on my couch and they're, they're accumulating at a alarming rate. Speaking of accumulating at an alarming rate, let's continue on with these action figures. So the last thing that I got at uh, five below, uh, this was kind of an interesting. So, um, Disney did this thing called Mirrorverse, which is like this uh, thing where they took their characters and tried to like put them together. Disney does stuff like this every once in a while. They did like the uh, what was that game with the little figures? Uh, multi not multiverse. Um, the the, what, the game with the little figures. They're basically like amiibos. I forget what it's called. They had that, and they have like Dreamlight Valley, which is like. Animal Crossing, but with Disney characters, and then they did this. I don't think this really took off because I remember I remember it like coming into existence and then just going away. But they had a bunch of these figures there, and they had Baloo. And what I find interesting about this is that they designed him based on Tailspin of all things. <laughs> so uh, I don't remember what the story is with this, but they're like. It's it's a very it's very Kingdom Hearts now that I'm looking at it. They have they have a bunch of the Disney characters. Um, that's Belle, who's like a mage, and then there's Sully from uh, Monsters Inc. And then you got like Donald. Uh, yeah, there's Sully. You got like Donald, Mickey, and Goofy. Um, there's Jack Sparrow. There's Buzz Lightyear, and then uh, I think that's is that Merida? And then there's Mickey up there, and then. Uh, can't tell who that is but yeah they had like it, it's like uh the heroes and villains are like teaming up to fight off some kind of bigger threat or something it clearly didn't take off but i i saw this and i thought that wow they actually based it off of tailspin typically the uh movies and tv shows don't uh don't really line up they don't really cross over very often but i guess what else are you going to do with baloo other than make him tailspin i do like the designs and I love the fact that his weapon is like, it's it's like airplane propeller that he uses, I guess, as a, a sword. So let's see if we can get that in his hand. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is kind of a cool figure, actually. And uh, Tailspin is one of my favorite shows, as I mentioned many times. So I thought this was kind of cool. I guess he'll he'll find his way onto the uh, onto the uh, shelf. He's got little, like, metal greaves in, on him and everything. He's got, like, gauntlets. What, what, he's got, like... That looks like the Rocketeer's backpack. The... the Is that... Is that supposed to be the Rocketeer's backpack? No, it looks different, I think. Well, it's got... It's similar. Maybe it's a little hidden reference. I don't know. But, yeah, I, I do think the designs for this set were really cool. I don't remember exactly what this was. Was this a game or something? There's a little card here. A little collectible card. There he is. Blue. Tank. Ugh. Uh, and there's his... He's got stats. Well, uh, with a Cavalier style and can-do attitude, hot shot pilot Baloo is ready to go at... R r yeah, uh, I'm not going to read this. We, we don't have time. We don't have time. But yeah, there he goes. There's Baloo. I'm going to leave him here for now with his collectible trading card. Is there anything else in here worth noting? No. Okay, good. Be gone. Tumbled onto the floor. All right, so, uh, oh man, I still don't know where. To, actually, let me start with the biggest item. So, uh, I found this at Target on the clearance rack. Sunman, more Sunman, um, Motu classics. Oh, not classics. Uh, Origins rather. Uh, used to be fifty dollars. Now twenty five. Yeah, a uh, bit of a deal there. <laughs> uh, so these are more characters from Sunman. Sunman is like a 
He was like a He-Man like character. I, I've talked about this in previous video. He was a He-Man like character in the '80s, and then Mattel got the license for it for the uh, Origins line, and they're doing all the uh, the characters from it. There's uh, there's Kickdo, expert kickboxer, Holographo, futuristic scientist, and Zapman, micro laser specialist. Um, Listen, I'm going to be honest. Uh, Sunman is cool and all, but my God, the names of these characters suck. <laughs> they suck. And uh, on the back, you can see the uh, the full squad there. Let me give you a good look. Cool artwork, though. Very cool artwork. And you see the whole team. And there's the uh, the villain, Pig Pigman, Pighead, whatever the hell his name was. Again, the names, the names are not very good. <laughs> but the character is. I'm kind of hoping that maybe we'll see this crossover in maybe a cartoon like uh another season of uh revolution revelation or whatever maybe we'll, maybe sun man will show up or something i would like that i think he's a cool character he deserves a uh deserves a shot in the animation um i'm gonna put that on this floor because it's huge all right so next up we have a uh, set of figures that um i didn't get at a discount but they were figures that i had been wanting for some time now, and I've known about them. Let me carefully pick these up. Uh, uh, okay, there they are. Bucky O'Hare. The uh, Bucky O'Hare re-releases from uh, Boss Fight Studios. These came out in 2017. I've been wanting these for a while because uh, I do really like Bucky O'Hare. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this toy line um, really took off. Uh, they were just, you know, more articulate, more detailed uh, figures for the toy line. They look very similar to the original toys, too, which uh, is kind of interesting. The uh, Have I done a video on Bucky O'Hare? I don't think I have. Future idea. We'll put a pin in that. Anyway, they have, um, there's Deadeye Duck. There is uh, a Toad Warrior and uh, a Storm Toad, rather, excuse me. And uh, Jenny, who was not part of the original action figure line, so she finally got her action figure like 30-something years later. And uh, there's Bucky O'Hare himself right there, the uh, main character from Bucky O'Hare. Um, there were some other characters in the line. Um, well, it was a very short-lived line. Let me see if I can find it on the on the back here. Yeah, so um, they have uh, Astral Projection Jenny and Stealth Bucky. Uh, I'm not really interested in those. They're just variants of these two. Um, the only other one I think that came out was Bruiser, who was a deluxe figure and he came in a box and it's kind of expensive and hard to find, but, uh, yeah. That, and that's it. That's it for the toy line. They didn't make any more. I guess maybe it wasn't popular enough. So no Willy, no Blinky, none of the other villains, none of the other characters, um, as far as I know, at least. Um, but yeah, uh, one thing I do like about these figures, though, uh, you get all these accessories and everything, but these carded figures are actually, uh, you know, resealable. They have a plastic shell over them. So uh, let's say if I was to take Bucky out here and have him fight my space Usagi figure, or sp stand up, or have him fight my uh, Jackson Star Wars figure. Uh, I can just put him right back when we're done. Guys, I might have a problem. <laughs> well, uh, I have many problems, but, um, you know, this is just one of them. Anyway, uh, let's move on to something else. So, listen, we need to talk about something. NECA, you need to stop releasing Osagi Ojimbo figures. <laughs> I, I walked into Target and I saw this, and... Uh, <laughs> They made another Usagi Yojimbo figure. This is the Adventures of Samurai Usagi. I don't remember this from the comic. But then again, I don't really remember the comic that well. I've been meaning to reread re it, but there's just so much of it. But yeah, there's another Usagi Yojimbo figure. Uh, I'm probably not going to do an unboxing of this one um, because the views on those were not very good for the other two. But uh, yeah, Usagi Yojimbo has another figure. All right, enough with these rabbits. Time to move on to something else. Uh, oh God damn it! <laughs> so this is this is DC Multiverse Captain Carrot action figure. 
<laughs> oh my god there's so many bunnies so many um so did rob buy all these for a bit or is he just secretly a weirdo the answer is yes all right yeah captain carrot is like a it was kind of like a, a, a weird spin-off, like DC Elseworld story, I think, where it was like Superman went to a world where everyone was animals and then they ended up getting superpowers. Uh, Captain Carrot was supposed to be like small, you know, rabbit size with like Superman powers. They made him kind of huge in this. I don't know why they did that, but uh, whatever. I guess he's to fit in with the, the rest of the line or something. I don't know. Anyway, we got to move on. Ugh. We got to keep going here because there's still so much to look at. Um, so I found also a couple of G.I. Joe classifieds on the discount rack for uh, $7.49. Uh, this one was a little bit more for some reason. So this is the Cobra Officer, the uh, little one of the many grunts for Python Patrol. The You know, the Army Builder figures, which uh, tend to be the most desirable among, you know, toys like this. Uh, and then we have this character, Cobra. Uh, Vipra? I do not know this character. I'm not familiar with this character, actually. She must be a relatively recent G.I. Joe character. She's a, she's a ninja, and she has a really cool skull mask. I like that. I'm guessing she's an adversary of Snake Eyes, maybe Jinx or something. She's another Cobra ninja, so that's kind of cool. Uh, unfortunately, she wasn't as discounted as uh, the Cobra Viper was, or the Cobra Officer, rather. Yeah, she's uh, 1249 uh, originally 24 though, which is good. This one, uh, actually 749 was a, a steal for this one. So that was a, a nice little find that I found there. Oh man. <laughs> so many more to go. Um, all right. So let's look at this one next. Uh, I found another legend of Vox Machina figure. It's, uh, Vexalia, the twin bro, the twin sister rather of, uh, uh, Vaxeldan. So I found two of the four figures they've currently released. Uh, there are, I think, I think the other ones were Keyleth and Percy. And uh, they didn't release any more for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, maybe, well, season three is supposedly happening sometime soon. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll find that. So I found, uh, I found Vaxeldan at uh, a Ross. And her I actually found at a bookstore. For twelve dollars, I don't remember how much she was originally. Um, does it say tw uh, twenty six ninety nine originally? So yeah, nice little roughly ten or more do dollars discount. Uh, no, that's not right. My math is not good right now. But anyway, uh, I have her. I gotta find the other two now. Maybe I'll happen upon them at a Ross or at Ollie's or Big Lots or something. That'll be very nice. Uh, what's interesting is these are actually done by uh, McFarlane Toys. There you go. Because uh, the show has no association with Dungeons & Dragons. It's supposed to be original content, original storytelling. Uh, and there's no branding for Dungeons & Dragons. Which I'm, I'm actually surprised that uh, that's a thing. Because I know Matt Mercer writes some of the campaigns for Dungeons & Dragons. Or some of the more recent ones, I think. So... I don't know. Maybe they prefer to stay independent, uh, which I think they should. But anyway, um, yeah, found uh, found that was kind of nice. Uh, here's another thing. Uh, again, this was not discounted, but I saw it and I kind of wanted it. Uh, Pokemon uh, Flygon, like deluxe action figure, trainer trainer team series select, big articulate action figure of Flygon, which is one of my favorite Pokemon's. Yeah. Uh, goggles is the one that I always uh, name my Flygon whenever I catch one in the game. Uh, so they, I've seen other figures for this uh, um, in the past. Uh, this is Series Seven. Wow! And uh, here's some other ones you can get for this line. But uh, Flygon was a s exception because I wanted a again probably going to just be set dressing for uh, when when I decide to redo the set. So um, yeah, there you go, Flygon. Love them. All right. So now we have. Well, actually, we're at the end here because all I have left is uh, Masters of the Universe Master fig Masterverse figures. So, we have Catra. We have Zodak. We have CGI Netflix He-Man. And we also have CGI Netflix Skeletor in the style of Masterverse. Yeah, they actually did, uh, they actually did these characters in the Masterverse uh, 
series. I thought that was kind of cool. They kind of stand out a little bit compared to some of the other ones. Like, look at look at them compared to Zodak, who's more, like, detailed and realistic. And then you got this big cartoony goofball. <laughs> I do actually really like the CGI show. Honestly, I think I like it a little bit more than uh, Revelation and Revolution. I do like those as well, but... Uh, I don't know, like, this one, like, they did something different with the show, and it really worked out nicely. Um, the point is, I found these at Ross <laughs> for $4 each. So this whole set of Masterverse figures only cost me about <laughs> about $12, which is less than one of, like, a full-priced one. That is insane. So, yeah, a big, big hit from Ross right there. Um, and I do have more Masterverse figures here that I just found recently. So uh, I was at a Target, and I found Jitsu, who was also on discount. He was, I think, $13. So the, the four that I got from Ross are actually less expensive than the discounted one from <laughs> Target. That's crazy. How did they get away with that? That's nuts. I have to, I really have to keep going to Ross. I have to keep, I have to like mark all the Rosses in my area and I got to go, I got to just go out and drive around and find them and uh, see what else I can find. But yeah, I found uh, Jitsu and uh, bringing things back to Sun Man. I actually found Sun Man in the Masterverse series. I've seen him before, but he was full priced. But yeah, there he is. Fully, uh, fully realized um, Sun Man figure. And I found uh, the, the pig guy at Ross uh, not too long ago as well. I did that, I showed that off in a video. So uh, now I have both of them. Now they can fight. He's, his head is actually hanging kind of low for some reason. I don't know why that's... Can we, can, we, can we fix him? There you go. There's a little schmutz on here as well. I don't know if you can see that. I think hopefully that's just scratches, not just residue from somebody touching it. Anyway, um, well, there you go. That's... <laughs> That's that's the uh, the the hall catch up, and I'm sweating because I'm tired now. And I've oh God, so many, so many figures, man. Um, but yeah, I will keep an eye out for uh, more discounted figures. I do feel like finding them on discount now. It's been saving me a lot of money. Uh, I do find it. I still find it hilarious. They made these in Masterverse. It's crazy. But um, yeah. Pretty good haul. Very good haul, I think. And now I can finally start cleaning things up because he's been piling up on my table for, like, weeks. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry if this was, like, a speed run video, but uh, there was a lot to get through. I hope you understand. <laughs> I'll be back with something more, uh, hopefully soon. I don't know what it will be, but uh, we'll be back. Um let me know if anything you saw in this video was really cool. Let me know if you found anything really cool on a, in like a secondhand store or a uh, resale store like Ross or Ollie's or uh, just on a discount rack. So let me know if you found any cool scores lately. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please give me a like. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment and check out my other videos. And uh, I will see you guys later. I think I did Pixel Dan Proud today with my uh, Masters of the Universe finds. What do you guys think? I think he would be proud of me. <laughs>